Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. I'm in my car right now, so that's why I'm a bit darker than usual. Um, so today we've got a new banner. It's the Select Scout with Costumes. So this is from the Tea Party, uh, Ingo, is that Emmett? I, I can never <laughs> tell the difference. And then we've got Keldeo and Diantha, and we've got uh, Lyra in the back with Fampy. Uh, all pretty good units, so let's go and check them out. There's also this select scout. We've got Stoutland, which is another meta unit. Um, Teapot Lily, excellent unit for healing, lots of healing, very good for uh, Battle Villa, uh, and also just for general stages, for flinch and, as well. And then we've got Guzma in the back. Um, very hard to use, not recommended for beginners. Damage output is good, but very hard to use. Alright, let's see what ways Dina's got for us today to take our money. But first, daily discount. So we're going to use our daily discount to get, obviously, Rosa. Or not. This is the new Lycan Rock with the Masters exclusive rival. That is Paolo. Oh, nice. Got her to 2 out of 5, but she's the 4 star unit. So Flareon. The, of course, probably the best... Master Fair unit this time around is Zapdos. I highly recommend Zapdos in blue if you haven't already got him. Uh, I really like Moltres and Leaf, but I don't think it's as broken as Zapdos. And Articuno, I love Red as a character, but I think this unit is not as good as what people are saying. It is Sparkles. Yes, the damage output is there, but it's not beginners friendly. Uh, hail units are lacking, generally speaking, in this game. You need a hail unit to support him. No, I didn't get him. <laughs> uh, I already have him at 3 out of 5. I was doing testing earlier, so didn't need to get him again anyway. Alright, uh, Lugia. Decent damage output, AoE attacks. One of the most broken units in the game. SS Lyra with Celebi. 100% chance of flinch. Definitely should get her. Uh, what else have we got? And then we've got Chris from Pokemon Crystal with the Crystal Pokemon that is Suicune. Pretty good. Pretty good. The new ripoff banner. That is Giovanni and his crew. Nothing there. And they did give a free ticket out yesterday as well. Uh, if you had logged in two hours after the day rolled over. You would have got a ticket to scout the, the Team Rocket units. So make sure you don't miss out on that. Alright, so let's talk about which unit to scout for in the new banners. So in this first banner, um, look, out of all these units, the one that I use the most, I'm not necessarily saying it's the strongest, but the one that, that I use the most is Diantha and Keldeo. She is massive damage dealer plus... Uh, reduces the opponent's special defense and defense and speed uh, every turn and while buffing itself. Stacking that with her sync nuke multipliers and huge damage output from her uh, regular moves, such as the uh, Sacred Sword. Good damage dealer, but it's been some time, some years since she's been released. So she's a little bit older of a unit now. Newer units like Thievul. Has the ability to apply dark type rebuff, which is a rarer ability to have. But I still personally prefer Keldeo. Uh, not that I'm going to pull Keldeo because I already have her at 3 out of 5. Then we've got these two units which really should come together, Ingo and Emmett. So they will complement each other very well with the bug zone and the massive bug type damage output. If you have one, you should try and get to get the other, no doubt. And all of their theme skills stack on each other because they have exactly the same themes. Hilda's special costume has never really been that meta, but I like her. I like her outfit. I like Diancy, so I got her when she was available. And then we've got Lyra and Fampy, which is a mid-tier support unit. Not too bad. Nothing crazy. But she does apply ground-type rebuff as well. So one of the newer abilities in this game is rebuffs, uh, which again is a rarer ability in units. 
since it's more recently been introduced. All right, so let's go ahead and pull one of these. Let's see if we're gonna get lucky and just land one of these in my 10, 11 pulls. Oh, nothing. Uh, the only unit that I don't have is Thievul. So that's the one I'm going to go for here. Special costume Thievul. Now then, what shall I steal tonight? It's a pretty cool outfit though. Alright, moving on to the next banner that is the... Uh, the special scout. Let's go check out the offering costume sync pairs. Uh, so I say, so I think a lot of people sleep on Jasmine, but I think Jasmine is really good because on her sync, uh, with her EX sync, um, she'll be able to apply endurance on your entire team. It helped me clutch a few stages in the past. Also, maxes out special defense, a so very good special defender, uh, lots of healing and, and crit buffs. Lily Pulte guys, lots of healing, random effects, a little bit more unpredictable, special attack up, so good as a support unit for special attackers. There is a very small chance of landing ghost zone, so if you don't have any ghost zone units, she is a possibility for, for, for it to be a ghost zone unit. Of course, we, we now have Victor and Spectria, which will also apply ghost zone, ghost zone uh, on EX as a free-to-play unit. So the reason why Lily is good for Battle Villa is because her healing doesn't require use of trainer moves. So there's the benefit there. Uh, Guzma, hard to use, not recommended for beginners. Uh, lots of lots of fighting type damage output, but chances of missing. But then missing can be good because it will stack up the next attack uh, damage multiplier. So look, it's hard to use. So not recommended. Shauna, I'll say she's a bit niche. And so not recommended. And Sonia, Serena, damage output a little bit under underwhelming. And one of the reasons why Stoutland is more a little bit more popular and useful in meta team compositions is because of its ability to reduce the type rebuff um, according to the weakness type. So if you don't have a type rebuff unit that matches, say, if the opponent's weak to electric and you don't have Zapdos to drop the type rebuff of electric, then you could use Stoutland to reduce the uh, type rebuff. Which is why uh, if you stack that on top of super effective up, which increases damage quite a bit more, if the move is super effective on your teammate, you get an even bigger output. So I would say if you have none of these units, probably go for Steven and Stoutland first uh, before you go for any of the others. But Poltergeist and Celesteela are sort of my second favorites in this list. Uh, or just whatever you're missing, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do 3,000 gems. I'm going to pull that. And not a single 5-star unit again. Wow, that sucks. Now, I've actually got every single unit in that banner. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick Stoutland. Because Stoutland gets MP refresh on the super effective up at 2 out of 5, which is great. And here we go. Light has been shown on the darkness of this case. And there we go, guys. Uh, good luck to your pulls. Let me know how you go in the comments section down below.